So there's a ladder, and it's 25 feet long. It's a really big ladder, and it's leaning against, uh, leaning toward the wall of the house. So it's leaning, leaning against the wall of the house. Uh, the base of the ladder is pulled away from the wall at a rate of two feet per second. How fast is the top of the ladder, top of the ladder moving down the wall when the base is seven feet away from the wall? Yikes! So uh, there's a lot of information. So let me give you uh, the pictures. So here's the the pick and the homework. Looks like this. So you have the house. And it's got windows. I believe it has two windows. <laughs> was it? Maybe. Maybe. Okay, it's got a door. The mouth. And there's a family here standing by a tree. Is there a family there? No. No? Okay, that's just in my head. Okay. Um, <laughs> so there's the roof of the house. Right, I thought there was like people there hanging out. Okay. And then here's the ladder. So this is the picture you see in the homework. And this, this is X. And they do this, they put an arrow and they put an R. Is that right? They have an R there? Yes. Yeah, okay. I guess that means rate. I don't know why they do that, I guess. And then they have Y here. And this is 25. Okay, so I'm going to make uh, uh, a new picture. Do they have X and a Y in the, in the homework? Okay, so I put the X and the Y there. So basically, I'm going to make a better picture. So here's, so here's our picture. So this is X. This is why this is 25. That's what matters. The people don't matter and the windows don't matter. Right? Well, not in this problem. So, so someone is pulling this ladder away. So, so if, 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 there's a, if there's an evil person here and they're pulling the ladder away, it's going to fall down, right? Like if, if you know, there's an evil person here and they pull it away, it's going to do this, right? So that's what's happening, right? So the base of the ladder is pulled away. Someone is pulling the ladder away. All right, so let's write down uh, what we're given and what we need. So given, need, right, given and need, given and need. This is similar to one of the homework questions, except uh, in the homework it's uh, multiple parts. I think it's the same number in the homework. Yeah, it is. Same. Is it the same number? Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Good stuff. Yeah, number eight. So we're, we're only going to do part A. So let's see, we're given some stuff. So the ladder is 25 feet long, we're given that. That's represented in the picture. And it's pulled away from the wall at a rate of two feet per second. So x is how far it is from the wall. So we're given dx dt. So dx dt is equal to two, right? Because it's being pulled away from the wall. So that's the rate of change of x, right? Rate of change of x. And what do we need? dy dt, very good, because that's how fast the top of the ladder is moving down the wall. So, so dy dt, and we need that when the base is seven feet from the wall. So that would be, which variable would that be? Dx or x. x equals seven, yeah, x equals seven, very good. That's what we need. So we're given some information, and we need some other information. We're not given an equation or a formula. So there is something we can use with triangles. There's an ancient theorem. Anyone know what it's called? The theorem of Py Pythagoras. Yeah, I think it's, I used to say Pythagorean, but people would make fun of me. I think it's Pythagorean theorem. So the theorem of Pythagoras says that x squared plus y squared equals c -squared. equals c squared or r squared. So x squared plus y squared is 25 squared. That's the theorem of Pythagoras. He was uh, some mathematician from Greece. He had like a cult following. Back then, math was really dark. Like those those people would like fight to the death and stuff over this stuff. Like, oh, that triangle is not a right triangle. And like they would like. I mean, I'm pretty sure it was dark times. Yeah, was fascinated because someone said that the square root of two doesn't. Well, he said the square root of two doesn't exist, but someone was like, no, it's decimal. And he's like, no, decimals don't exist, so he killed them. So he killed them because he disagreed with him over a math. It's dark, right? It's so dark. It's really scary, right? Like, not messing around. Like, you know, like, what? No, the square root of two does not have decimals. It does not exist. <laughs> so, can you imagine? So, so now we're going to take the derivative with respect to t. So it'll be 2x dx dt. Haven't done this in a while. Plus. Right, with respect to t, 2y, dy. dy dt, very good. And what's the derivative of 25 squared? Zero, very good, it's a number. I was waiting for someone to say, put the two in the front and subtract one. No, it's just, it's just a number. <laughs> 
so we're here. So this is a common reoccurring theme in the homework, the, the theorem of Pythagoras. Now I think of that story now. Geez, I don't like him anymore. <laughs> so 2x dx dt, 2y dy dt equals 0. Wow. We should rename it. Was, it was a triangle with legs of 1 and 1. Oh, right, right. So and then call that. The square root of right. Two square root. So the guy said that this exists and is a decimal? Well, so Pythagorean was just like obsessed with trying to find the ratio of that. That would be like the real number. Uh -huh. It didn't exist. It right. Like, this doesn't exist, so it must be, there must not be a real ratio for it. And then he was like, no, there must be. And then he was killed for that. He was killed for believing this was the answer. So dark. Okay, that's just, it's just so bad. Or <laughs> it's just so bad. All right. So you have to find dy dt. We have, we have x. x is going to be 7. Uh, we just need y. Right? So maybe let's, let's try to find y using this. So when, when x is 7, let's, let's take it and, and plug it in here. We get, we get 7 squared plus y squared equals 25 squared, which is 625, I'm pretty sure. I think 25 squared is 625. So I just took the 7 and plugged it in there. So y squared is... It's 25 squared minus 7 squared. So then you take the, the square root of both sides, right? But you only take the positive one because it's the uh, length of a triangle. So it's 25 squared minus 7 squared. You should always get a whole number here when you do this. I, I think it's 14, but I'm just guessing. Does anyone know what it is? I'll wait until he's doing it. Is it? It's 24. Okay, I was close. Well, kind of. As a 4, right? <laughs> so, thank you, Elizabeth. <clears throat> so 24. Everyone okay with what, with what we did here? So you just take this number and you plug it in here to get the y. Okay. So we got that. All right, now we're going to finish. So let's finish. So let's finish. Let's finish. I'll even write it just to make it more interesting. So let's finish. So I'm going to come back here. So 2x dx dt. plus 2y dy dt equals zero. Just writing it again, just for clarity. You're just writing it one more time. Can you see from over there? Yeah. A little bit? OK. So 2x dx dt plus 2y dy dt. I'll write big. I'll write really big now. So OK, so I, I think we've already indicated that we're plugging stuff in. So we're OK with notation. So, so it'll be 2 times 7. And then what was, what was dx dt? Was it 2? Oh, there it is, 2. Yeah, there it is, 2. It was one of the givens, right? So 2 plus 2, 24. Thanks, 24, because that's the, that's the y. Thanks, I don't know what's going on. dy dt, and that's equal to 0. This is considered, I think this is one of the harder ones, right? So, uh, ah, crazy numbers, right? So 14 times 2 is 28. So 28. 28 plus 48 dy dt equals 0. Equals 0. Then we can solve for this. Running out of room, I'll write up here. So 48 dy dt equals negative 28. All right, subtracting, subtracting the 28 from, from both sides. And then dividing by 48 would give us dy dt equals negative 28 over 48. Does anyone know what that is? Negative 7 over 12. That sounds right. Negative 7 over 12. And it's feet per second. So that is the answer. Yep.